Right, simple recipes, we're gonna do something slightly different today. So we're gonna do a, um, just a vegetable soup to start using up the vegetables that are starting to go a bit. So right, some of these vegetables are a few days old now. Obviously I can't sell them in the shop, but we can make a soup out of them. It's just a way of using up your, your vegetables that you've got going around the fridge rather than chucking them out, especially while there's a shortage of everything. So what we're gonna do is uh, a big vegetable soup. I've got more carrots than this, just couldn't fit them in the picture. So I'm gonna do a really big version um, I'll put the quantities for a vegetable soup into the description, but essentially a vegetable soup, as long as you've got your base, which is for every soup, so you've got onions, a bit of celery, a bit of leeks, then you can essentially put whatever you want in. We're gonna put some lentils into it just to give it a bit more body um, and hold it up together. And we're gonna blend it down so it's smooth. You can spend a bit longer chopping up the veg and do a broth if you like. Um, but yeah, we'll talk, th talk you through it as you go, and I'll give you little options of things to do as we're going along if you want to do a slightly different flavour. We've got a bit of rosemary that's just starting to turn, so we're going to put that into it as well. Uh, so let's get started. Right, so I'm not going to show you how to peel all the veg, but first thing we're going to do is just clean up all the veg and peel it up. I'm not going to peel the carrots because they're all quite good, but some of these parsnips are just, just a bit too soft. So we're going to peel all the outside skin off and just make sure that they're all right inside which they seem to be. Now what we're going to do when we're peeling all the veg and everything now, just get a little tub, peel it all into that. You can stick it in a compost bin. If you don't have a compost bin, you can just throw it in the bin. But if you've got a compost bin outside, you might as well save it all. Chuck all your peelings and uh, tea bags and everything into your compost bin and you can grow your own veggies. So just peel them all up, chuck them into a little tub separately and then we can chop them all in a minute. So I'm just going to peel everything now. I won't make you watch me peeling everything because it's quite tedious. One thing I would say is these speed peelers, worth the weight in gold, They're much quicker than using a little hand peeler. Literally just hold it in your hand, peel it end to end. Really, really quick at doing the job. Right, I'll peel everything, I'll get back to you. Right, so I've peeled all the parsnips. Now we're just gonna top them and tail them. Chuck them in a few compost as well. So we're just gonna go through and top and tail all them. I'll show you. Everything's just gonna be roughly cut up for the, for the veg soup. So we're just gonna go through all your onions, just top and tail and peel them. Really quick and easy. You could do a really big batch of soup if you've got lots of veg going off. I mean, I've only got parsnips, carrots, a bit of broccoli uh, going into this one, but you could put whatever you like. And if you've got, I don't know, you've got some asparagus some green beans going off in the fridge, you've got some cauliflower, put whatever you like. You don't want it to be going off as in mouldy, but stuff that's just a bit, just like your parsnips that have gone a bit flexy, just not quite as crisp. Some of these carrots are still quite crisp, but they're just starting to give, just a way of using it up rather than throwing it into the bin. So we just peel up all the onions. Again, I'm not gonna show you how to peel onions. I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing because it's really boring, but quick and easy. I'm gonna go through, peel all these onions with your Leeks, top of the leeks are just a bit tough. So cut a couple of inch off, all that can go into the compost. Cut the root off, that can go into the compost. Then with your leeks, cut them down the middle. And then if they're dirty, so if we look through here, a bit of dirt in there, we'll just give them a wash, just under a bit of running water, wash all that dirt off, and then we can chop them up as well. And we're not gonna use this whole head of celery, we're just gonna use half of it. So we'll just cut that off. That other half can go back in the fridge. Top end's starting to get a bit flexy. So we'll just roughly chop all that up when, when we're cutting up the veg. Um, with your broccoli, what we want to do with the broccoli is we're going to put the root and the stalks are going to go in at the start of the soup. And then when it's nearly done, we'll put the top green in so we don't get the overcooked broccoli flavour through it. Uh, we'll cook that for a few minutes just before it's about to, um, or we're about to blend it so that it's cooked and then we'll blend it through and we'll get a nice fresh broccoli flavour into there as well. Um, so all we're going to do is we're going to cut it as close as we can to the heads so we get all of the roots and all of the stalks ready to go into the base and then we'll keep this lot separate and that can go in right at the end. Right, so I will uh, chop up the rest of this veg and I will show you a bit more when we, when we get to something new. So right, I have um, peeled all the veg, I've washed the carrots. Like I said, I've got quite a lot of carrots, so ours is gonna be quite a carroty vegetable soup. I have um, all the onions are peeled. I've just 
taking the rough end off the broccoli, parsnips are all peeled, um, celery is ready to chop, I've washed the leeks so there's no dirt in that anymore and what we're going to do now is we're just going to chop it all up, I've got a nice big tray to chop it up into so that we're not trying to store it all on a chopping board, you want a nice clear chopping board while you're cutting things up. Um, I'll just show you how we're going to chop things up, so they all want to be roughly the same sort of size. We've got with the carrots, we're going to do a smooth soup, so they all want to be nice, nice chunky, nice chunks so that when it's cooking down, it all cooks down nice and evenly and you, as you mix it round, all the flavours are, uh, are mixed. If you're wanting to do yourself a broth, which I said I'd show a couple of different ways, if you're wanting to do a broth, then what you want to do, chop your carrots and your vegetables into nice manageable pieces. And then we're just gonna slice it down so that you get nice slices of, of your vegetables. And we're gonna do a fine dice but first we cut it into, into fingers or julienne. So you've got pieces like that. And then we just slice it up again. So you've got a nice, nice diced vegetables or brumoise. And if you do all your vegetables like this, then you won't need to blend your soup at the end and you'll have a nice chunky broth um, but we're going to do just a smooth soup um, because we've got quite a lot of vegetables and it will take me all day to, to brumoise it all. Uh, so we're, I'm just going to get on with chopping all, this, all these vegetables and I will come back to you once they're all chopped. So there we are, like I said, we've got quite a lot of carrots um, because we're running this shop uh, during the COVID-19 um, issue. So we have, this is all the veg that I just had that I can't sell in the shop anymore because it's um, it's not it's not gonna last any more than a couple of days and I don't wanna be selling to people stuff that won't last. So we're just gonna make this soup. Um, so we've got all our carrots are chopped up, all our parsnips are chopped up. We've got the broccoli, leeks, uh, Celery's under the leeks, and then we've got the oh no, celery's there, and then we've got the onions. Uh, we've got the broccoli tops that are going in at the end, a bit of rosemary, and then we've got some uh, lentils that will just add a nice bit of body to it. Um, everything's nice, evenly chopped. So this is all about prep. It's just about getting it ready so that it's all ready to cook, and we're not chopping it up at the same time as cooking. Uh, especially if it's the first time you made a soup, you don't want to be burning the base of the soup while you're chopping up your carrots or whatever. Like I said, you can put any veg you want in it, whatever you've got that's just starting to be a bit too a bit too flexible, a bit too wobbly to go and uh, to use as um, just a normal vegetable. Um, I'll put some, um, some rough quantities into the description of the video so that you know how, to, how much vegetables you want, you need for a, a soup for four. Um, but you can make a soup for 16, stick it in the fridge, it'll last you for five days just saves making it every day if you've got vegetables that are turning. Um, you really want some onions um, into the base of it. If you've got some leeks, some leeks, a bit of celery, just gives you a bit of a base flavor. Uh, apart from that, you can basically put anything in. If you haven't got celery and leeks, don't worry about it. If you've got a bit of garlic, stick a bit of garlic into it. You know, if, if you want to put some spices into it, put whatever you like into it, really. We're just doing a base, a basic soup here. Um, we might do a more advanced soup in a, in a week's time, depending on what vegetables we've got left over to do that. Right, so I'll get the stove set up and then we can start cooking it. Right, so now we've got a big pan, doing loads of soup, so we've got a big pan. Just got some, a little bit of oil in there. Already got that hot, as you can tell. Um, so we're just gonna put the onions and the celery into there first.
And the reason we cook it all a little bit separately is just so that everything has a little time to get a bit of caramelization, you get a bit of extra sweet flavor, onions are full of natural sugar. So you get a nice bit of caramelization on things. Uh, and then you can add everything a bit, a bit more slower and everything just gets a chance to, chance to get a bit of caramelization. Uh, rather than just chucking it all into a pan of water and boiling it, so you don't get as good a flavour out of it then. So I'm not going to let you sit there and watch it caramelise. Um, we'll just leave this for a few minutes, just to cook out, probably about 5-10 minutes, and then we'll come back, add the next thing, give it a good stir and we'll do it like that, rather than letting you watch it just boil away. Okay? Right, so as you can see, it's all just starting to caramelize on the bottom. I've just turned it off so it doesn't steam up the lens because I couldn't see anything. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add the leeks into it. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna cook them down a bit. So that's all the leeks added into there. So this is all your base flavour, it's like your base, your mirror as we call it. So it's got, you've got your onions, your leeks, your celery, and now in there cooking down. So we're just gonna turn it back on. Just, you don't need to turn it off and turn it off so it stops steaming. Um, we're just gonna cook that out for another few minutes so the leeks are cooked out. Basically this is all we're gonna do for the next 10 minutes. We're gonna keep stirring it, adding a bit more ingredients and then cooking it out. Um, so I'll come back to you. Right, so the leeks are cu cooked out. I just want to show you this. So look, it's all just starting to nicely brown. And that's not burning, you don't want it to go black, you want it to go slightly brown. So that it's like when you're roasting root vegetables, you get that nice, all the natural sugars are just starting to cook out. You don't want it to black. It's not It's not a case of burning it. That isn't it burning on the bottom. It's just caramelizing. It's all the natural sugars caramelizing out. And look, when you rub it, all of the liquid that's coming out of the out of the vegetables just lifts it again. So all of that nice flavor will go into your, into your soup. That's why you keep mixing it so that all your vegetables are caramelizing on the bottom and not, none of them are catching and burning. It's a completely different flavor to a burnt flavor. So I've just turned it off again because it keeps steaming up the camera every time I try and film. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just add in um, the parsnips because we've got less of the parsnips and the uh, broccoli root and then we'll cook them out for a bit and then we'll add the carrots into it. So that's all the parsnips added into it and the broccoli root. You see we're getting a nice mixture of all the vegetables in there now. And we're just cooking that out a bit. I haven't seasoned it at all at the moment. Haven't. We're not going to add any uh, stock cubes to it or anything like that. There's going to be enough flavour in here with all the vegetables that we don't need any of that. We will season it, but we're just going to cook the vegetables down first. We'll add a bit of seasoning when we add the water. And then when we come to blending it, we'll taste it and we'll season it then. So we're not over salting it, under salting it, we're not over peppering it. So we get a really good mixture of flavours and that's what you want. But smelling really good, smelling like roasting vegetables now. And that's what we want out of the flavour. So we'll just let this cook out for another five minutes and I will come back to you. Right, so the parsnip's now cooked out. Cooked out just enough. See, we're getting a bit more of that caramelization on the bottom. It's really good. It smells like Sunday roast, really. Like all the vegetables. So now we're gonna add all of the rest of the stuff, except we're not gonna put the lentils in and we're not gonna put the broccoli tops in. But all we've got left now is the carrots and the rosemary. So we're just gonna chip the rosemary in. Still got the sticks on there, we're not gonna pick it up. I'm just gonna blend it and then take the, take the sticks out when I've blended it. So you get all the flavour. We're going to put all the carrots in. 
tiny little bits of leak and things that are just left in the tent. That's empty now. And then we're going to put this back on, give it a bit of a stir. We're going to put this back on and we're going to cook it out. You can see there's quite a lot here now. It's probably going to take about 10-15 minutes to start getting some colour onto all these carrots and get some heat back into it. And then we'll come back and we'll add some seasoning and we'll add the stock to it. And then we'll just leave it to simmer for a bit. So there we go. Just put it back on. Put a bit of heat into it and let it let it just cook out. See all the time, it's in time lapse. Time lapses all the time. I'm just stirring it so it keeps mixing so that we're not catching the bottom of it and the top of it staying just as raw veg. So we just keep stirring it. You don't have to stand next to it and stir it all the time. Put it onto a medium heat. Just keep coming back to it every few minutes as you're walking past, give it a good stir. Make sure it's not catching, just let it cook out. And there we are. So I will now leave you and uh, we'll come back to it in a few minutes. I'll keep stirring it. We'll come back to it in a few minutes when we need to add the, uh, the water into it. Right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Everything's nice and hot again. All the carrots are starting to caramelize. Not gonna get as much color onto the carrots because there's obviously a lot of stuff in this pan. Now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put the lentils in there. There's not loads of lentils into this mix. All that the lentils are gonna do, because we're blending it, if you're doing a broth, then the lentils are adding in some, uh, the starch out of the lentils are gonna thicken the broth. Um, and they're going to add lots of texture and things into your broth. What they're going to do here, we're going to get that same starch out of it, but they'll just slightly thicken the soup and just give it more of a body so that it holds together when you're tasting it. So there we are. It's got no, not got loads of not got loads of lentils in there. So we'll just get them nice and mixed through all of the veg. So that we don't have like a clump of them so they cook out nice and evenly with the rest of it and then we're going to add some water into this now what i always do with with a soup is i'll just add enough water so it's about an inch so about three centimeters to an hour centimeters above the above the um, vegetables that we've got and we'll cook it out like that because we can always add a bit more water when we're blending it and thin it down you don't want to make a really really watery soup and then have to try and thicken it at a later date so we make what we do is we make them as thick as we can we'll just cook them down with as minimal water as possible and then if we need to at a later date once we're blending it we can add a bit more uh, water into it and we can boil it back up again um, and cook it out so you'll notice there's no stock like i said we're not adding any stock cubes into it no um, bouillon paste or anything like that it's got loads of flavor in here anyway it's got all the fresh vegetables We've cooked them all out properly. There, as you see, it's really thick. The spoon stands up in it. There's not an excess of water in there. So it's probably going to take like an hour to cook this out now because this water's got to come to the boil. Um, and the vegetables have got to cook out. So I'm going to put a lid onto this. I'm going to turn it back up to full heat. I'm going to put a lid on it when it comes to the boil. We'll turn it back down to medium heat. I'll show you that when we when we put it back on the heat. When we uh, when we turn it down, uh, we'll bring it back up. To, we'll bring it up to the boil, and then we'll simmer it for about an hour, uh, and then we'll blend it. Actually, what we'll do before we bring it to the boil, we're going to season it. So we've got some salt. It's going to take quite a bit of salt into this. We use sea salt. You don't have to use sea salt. You can use table salt. Um, You don't have to use it out of a grinder. Use it out of a grinder, it's just got better flavour. And then we've got black pepper, freshly cracked black pepper. Good amount of black pepper into there. Not putting as much as I think we'll need for this soup into it. 
it's just a base at this point and then as I say once it's cooked out and once we've blended it then we can taste it and we can see what the seasoning levels like so there's not loads gone into it there just that you don't want to you don't want the raw salt and the raw uh, pepper flavor in, into the soup you want it to cook out with the rest of it so we'll just put some of it in to start and then we'll add the rest later right so we're going to put the lid on it now bring it to the boil and then we'll turn it down and simmer it right as you can see it's all boiling again i'm just going to turn it off seeing it boiling otherwise it'll the mist will just keep you keep you from seeing it it'll steam up the lens so we've got some really good flight smell coming out of this now we've got a um a good good mixture of everything it's all starting to cook down starting to soften up so we're probably going to simmer this for like another half hour so we'll turn it back on but we'll turn it on at a half heat and we'll simmer it for another half hour and then we'll start to blend it and we'll see where we are from there Right, this has been uh, simmering away for about half an hour now um, and I've just turned it off so it doesn't steam up the lens again. So it is still hot and simmering. I just want to show you that the vegetables are all nice and soft now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to chuck in the last little thing which is the broccoli and then we're going to turn it back on and simmer it for probably another 10 minutes just so that the broccoli cooks out in the heat and then we'll turn it back off again and we will um, blend it. Okay, we'll see you in 10 minutes. Right, so it's all cooked out now. Uh, it's all nicely cooked down. All lovely and soft. It smells really good. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna run the stick blender. I've actually remembered to plug it in this time, turn it on. So we're just gonna put the stick blender through it all um, and get it really smooth, basically. You can, if you're doing a a broth obviously you don't need to do this and then you've got a choice you can you can blend it right down pass it through a sieve and get a really smooth soup or you can just do quite a rustic soup and uh, leave it quite chunky which i think is what we're going to do but i'll put it onto um time lapse again while i'm blending it so you don't have to spend 10 minutes watching me blend it and then um yeah then we'll give it a taste a bit more of a season and then it's done Right, so as you can see, it's, it's really thick and it won't blend very well when it's this thick. It's much thicker than it is. So what I'm gonna do at this point is add a little bit more water into it and then it'll blend a lot better because uh, it's just thinned down a bit. So we've added some more water into it. Just gonna, just gonna move about a bit freer, blend up a lot easier. So we'll go back to blending. nice Oops, rustically blended soup now it's not perfectly smooth it's got a bit of texture to it but it's not chunky there's no big lumps of vegetables in it so what we're going to do now is we're going to taste that and we're going to season it yeah it's got some good flavour just needs a bit more salt and pepper in it Blend that up a bit more. Just get all that salt and pepper mixed in. And we'll turn it back on. Simmer it for five minutes just so that all the seasoning is cooked out. Give it another taste and then it should be done. All right, there we go. So it's all blended now. And what I've done is I've tipped it into some big trays so it cools down because I'm not going to eat it all. I'm not going to use it all now. Uh, if you're going to eat it, that's fine. If you can have it all for dinner or lunch, that's fine. Um, what I'm going to do with this is, I've obviously made loads, so I'm going to cool it down and then I'm going to bag it up and run it to the local food bank because uh, I don't want to sell it. Um, I don't want to put it on to sell and uh, at the moment the food bank's needing food, so that's what we're going to do with this. 
uh, but it's a good good way of using up all of your leftover veg um, and you can do whatever flavour you want. Obviously this has gone bright orange because there is a load of carrot in it, but yours might not be bright orange, might be kind of brown colour, green colour, depends on what veg you've put into it. Good luck with it and yeah, see you tomorrow for another video.